What's up, Dice Crew? Keeping it a Benji, and I'm getting back with y'all. Now, we got Ace Boy Pun, and he on the Discord. I don't know if y'all familiar with it, but he be doing some stuff to where he get on, like, a Discord, and he be letting all kind of people in the comments, or I guess I should call them, like, people that's viewers and in, in the audience to tune in and be able to give some feedback or give their opinion on certain stuff. So, what Ace Boy Pun and the viewers is pretty much reacting to and responding to is how Smack allowed Charleston White to diss his dead homies. You know what I mean? And at least that's the title of it. You know what I mean? It said content, question mark. Ace Boy Pun reacts to Smack allowing Charleston White to diss his dead homies. So I'm going to dive in and give y'all a reaction. I'm going to keep it a Benji for y'all during my reaction. And y'all keep it a Benji for me in the comments. Shout out to the Dice Crew. Shout out to Smack and Ace Boy Pun. Let's rock. What the f*** with your boy Smacky? What the f*** up with Smack on the phone? Bro, how did you just compare? The boy, the boy, why the Charles and White saying f*** the dead homies and f*** his son and all that What What's going on? Hey, how did that you... Hold on, wait, man. He has a and I lost, a, I lost a gang of respect for my boy, bro. And I wish he was here because I'll tell him my, that shit was a bad look, my. That shit was horrible, my. That, everything ain't no content, my. That was on there saying all that weird ass shit, bro. And this just pumping him up. Yeah, huh? You right, huh? Absolutely right, huh? Like, that nigga only said, yeah, you right, and, and, and tell him, huh? The whole motherfucking conversation, bro, that shit was a badass my, look, my nigga, and, and I feel like T-Rail should have a problem with that shit, my nigga. That's not how we get down, pun. You know that. It, 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 at some point, you gotta cut this content shit out, my nigga. Like, this nigga, he said, fuck Slim 400 and all this shit. That's supposed to be your boy. You on the podcast... Now, you know, Spider Luck was the first person who spoke on this and brew it and brought it to my attention. So I made a video and reacted to that myself, or I really didn't react, but I spoke on the whole situation. And that's something that I was agreeing with too. I was like, man, you used to act like Slim 400 was just your man, like your partner, your, you know? So for you to allow that and so much other disrespect, it just kind of get people to be in the confused state. Like, why you can't draw the line from content? Rest in peace, my brother Slim this, Slim that, when I met Slim, and this man disrespected him, and you just on there laughing, my nigga, talking about, oh, you don't take him serious. That, it's all for content, my nigga. That shit is bullshit, my nigga. And nigga, you know niggas fuck with y'all and watch this shit, bro. And when I see shit like that, I'm going to speak on it, my nigga. That was some clown-ass shit, my nigga. Straight like that. And if y'all can ping him in here, I'll tell him, my nigga. That was some clown <laughs> shit, nigga. And I ain't with that shit, my nigga. How did you feel watching that shit, my nigga? I wasn't, I wasn't, Honestly. I wasn't, I wasn't tuning in the moment. I went back and watched it though, like on a, on a little clips and shit. And I was just like, uh, I, yeah, I wasn't. Nigga, I would be, be, me personally, shit, me personally, nigga. no, like on some real shit. Like me personally, I, I ain't gonna never let a nigga play with my dead homies like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my that's nigga. how. But I don't, I, I can't speak for everybody. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling that shit though. Like that was like weird. But I, I, I was like. I was kind of even me. I was like, are they, are they, is this like planned? Was this planned or Hell are they no, playing? I don't know. Name one nigga in the hood that play like that, nigga. Name one nigga in the hood that play like that. But no, I didn't, I, I was like, like shit, on, I don't nigga. know. But I did see what Smack was like, you know, I understand him. I know he, it's a character or something. So Smack had his little, uh, his little, uh, Reason for why he, but I know, I know to the people, bro, that Mike shit, that shit was a nigga on there talking about yeah, if yeah, it was him when, when the nigga act, told Brick Baby, let me get a cigarette, like he said, Smack talking about, no, at some point, nigga, and all the games and the content is out, nigga, I would have went off, I would have did this, nigga, disrespect me like that, but now you letting this weird ass nigga get on the phone and say all this weird shit, you want to say, oh, it's just content, you ain't taking them serious. Nigga, you can say that about anything, yeah, no, no, nigga. I'm not, I'm not letting, I'm not letting nigga no niggas, uh, your bitch and you can say, I ain't taking it serious. I'm not like, letting no niggas play nigga. with my dead homies. I'm not letting that no niggas disrespect my kids. We got to start kids, calling clown shit, shit out like though. that, nigga. We don't, don't fuck around like that, my boy. You know that, boy. That was some clown shit. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't want to hear that shit smack talking about, oh, he don't take him serious and it's just a character, nigga. That's what he say for all the fuck shit that he say that to, to, to try to cover that shit up and to spin a nigga, homie. You can't spin me, my nigga. There ain't no motherfucking character. When you say fuck Nip and fuck this nigga, you saying fuck the niggas yeah, out the world. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, look, 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 no, look, 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 You ain't saying fuck that character. Like, look, 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 look
smack, bro. That's a smack car. He got to be here to speak for it. But I'm saying, you ask me how I feel about it, I don't fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah. I don't fuck with it. Like a nigga playing with my kids, saying fuck my kids and my dad. And you know, you got the viewers, you got other people, other content creators that's like your peers. You got people that's your homies and your business partners like Pun. You got people that's really not feeling that move you made. So you got to make sure when you make choices that you really kind of think about it before you just do stuff. Because everything ain't worth it. You know, y'all might not even really get a whole lot of chili or a whole lot of views or anything other than what y'all been gathering from that, from y'all doing y'all podcasting. And was it really worth it? You know, you can see that Smack really thought he was like tied in to something or he thought he was like, man, I know Jay-Z or something like that's how he was trying to. He was so excited and, and happy. But it's like, come on, man, you done got everybody kind of on your case. And it's like, was it worth it? I'm very disappointed in Smack. It hums. I don't fuck with it. I was just saying, nigga, I heard Smack why he said he don't, why he wasn't tripping. He was saying it's a character. He don't say, but I said to the people, we ain't going to understand that. We don't get it. I don't like, we oh, all look God. at the same way. We like, nigga, that's a dead homie. Like, we ain't playing that. But I don't know, cuz I, I saw it. I saw it. I was just like, ooh, that's a tricky one right there. But you know what I'm saying? I, that would never happen with, with me. I ain't never let a nigga get that off. That's out. That's, I couldn't believe that shit, bro. When I was watching that shit, I'm like, what niggas ain't hanging up on this nigga? Like, niggas talk about cut the camera off when homies start arguing and shit, but you letting this nigga go crazy on, on live. My nigga, like, in this call. The fuck is you niggas doing? You want views and clicks that much? Like, nigga don't need that kind of views, my nigga. That shit look bad, homie. Yeah, I mean, you know, at the same time, it's like, when you... Interact with cuz you know what's gonna come with it. He go he goes all the way disrespectful. So it's like even engaging with cuz, it's like you gotta know that's coming. You know what I'm saying? Cause other, nobody wants to hear cuz have a serious conversation or, or And that's one of the reasons why every time I speak about certain individuals like a Wack one hundred or a Charleston White, I always bring that up and tell people, like, unless you're willing to play a real verbal internet game or just totally be disrespectful, jump out the box, jump out your character and let people and be willing to be open for a person defending you just so much or disrespecting you. It's better. It's better off. Like you better off not even trying to engage with those type of dudes and get into it with them unless you open for that stuff like that. You know what I mean? Cause that's all they're going to do. They're going to be the most disrespectful individuals they can be. And they got intelligence, so they're not no idiots. And they sharp on the dribble, fast on the dribble, and sharp on the tongue. So you got to be mindful when you get in the, you know, in, the, in a situation with, situ with, uh, with individuals like that. A, a chill conversation. That's not why people talk about Charleston White. Like, what make him interesting to the people in a negative way, positive way, whatever, is because cuz always go to the lowest low and say the wildest shit. And that's been his thing. That's what makes people, like, talk about him. Even though it's in a bad light, that's what keeps his name relevant. So if you know you finna have him on here for longer than 30 minutes or longer than 10 minutes, you you know he finna say some way out, disrespectful. And it's like, I don't fuck with it. Like, I never cared to get with cuz. I never tried to reach out to cuz. I never tried to be a, a homie with cuz. That's I don't fuck with that. When he did the whole disrespecting the kids that got killed in Texas and wherever it was at, I was like, I, I'm not rolling. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, it's, 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 to each his own, cuz, but that's not my cup of tea. We don't rock with shit like that. I'm not rocking with that. I'm not rocking with that at all. You know what I'm saying? But that shit, that shit was a bad look, my nigga. I mean, that you shit know, was bad. I, like I said, cuz had his reason. He said, hey, nigga, he, they got a relation. He understand. I don't. That's why I say outside looking in, we ain't going to get it. The outsiders, we ain't going to get it. Because all we know is, nigga, he dissed your dead homie. And, he, nigga, he telling your kids, fuck your kids. So outside looking in, we like, nigga, that's out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what type of relationship just, niggas got. If we like, hey, we can joke saying. like that. I don't joke like that with my homies. I never tell my I'm homies. Not really, homies. I'm not really. Man, I don't even be knowing most of these people on this internet space that I be speaking on or 
uh, uh, reacting to. I mean, obviously, you know, I know people who know them and they know people who know me and it's stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's like whether I know a person or not, whether a person way out somewhere, anywhere, I try my best to be well mannered and very, dis- uh, very respectful. Like you get nothing out of being disrespectful. I mean, if that's just the type of way you trying to carry yourself, obviously you can see that it is people gaining a whole lot from being disrespectful in this universe. You know what I mean? And life itself. But at the end of the day, I I wouldn't have no relationship with a person who playing them type of games neither. Really tripping on the weird shit. He was saying, even though that shit is out, I'm I'm tripping on the reaction that niggas was doing while he was saying it. Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit, that shit look crazy, my nigga. Yes, Mac was definitely overexcited. Like you, you, you cheering him on, my nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. Say fuck his dead homie. Say, say fuck his kids. Like that. That's the part that bothered me, my nigga. I expect Charles and White to say some wild shit. I expect the T Rail to get on this nigga ass more than he did, bro. Like you were supposed to go there with him. If you gonna have him on your show, you gotta be ready to go there, my nigga. It's all distracting with this nigga. You supposed to over talk him, move the phone away from the mic so he can't hear. You can't hear all the shit he's saying. You supposed to bully the nigga. He on your shit, my nigga. You ain't supposed to let him tip. I mean, you know, that is kind of crazy how, you know, a person could disrespect so much stuff that got to do with you on your platform. Like, your plot, your platform is the outlet for a person disrespecting so much stuff that got to do with you. That's, like, kind of crazy. You shut the fuck up, my nigga. You was a broke nigga. Like, nah, that, that, that's, that's, that's laughing. Booster, you can't because look, if he was to go crash out like T Rail usually crash out, then niggas got something to say about that. And he just but trying to be a better person. Less, so the don't say you too crash much. out for less. You crash out for less, my nigga. He, he, then the he, nigga doing that. He had a get back, but it, it wasn't like what, what, what we, what, I guess what everybody expected to be, but it wasn't like no. He said something, but it wasn't, he was just playing with it, but he wasn't like going crazy. That nigga should have went all maniac addition on that nigga. You was a bitch ass nigga, nigga. You ain't killed nobody, nigga. You went to jail. You told on your homie, nigga. You gave him the gun and told, nigga. Nah, you that's like letting crack. somebody nigga, crash that's what out. He been then, on, nigga. That's like letting somebody crash out, and you know, damn, this person can go crazy to the limit and crash out, and you wouldn't even want that. Then you actually know you're gonna be saying some shit that you don't want to say, like R. P. Well, have your co-host. So have your co-host put this nigga on the phone on the show live and just let him crash out on me, and you why you cheering him on? That's 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 what we doing. All right, y'all. That's what y'all get. That's the video. Shout out to the Dice Crew. Shout out to Pun and them for the clip. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments. Keep it a Benji for me. If not, don't jump in. Shout out to the Dice Crew once again. I'm out.